the Golden State Warriors owner, um, recently he has some things to say about his previous coach, Mark Jackson, and, you know, he feels he's better off with Steve Kerr and he kind of, you know, threw Mark Jackson under the bus. Um, mm. Your thoughts on that? Golden State is now, they're like 17-2 and two right now. I think it's now they want another one, 18 and 2. 18 and 2. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I, I think someone should throw, throw the, uh, the owner under the bus, literally. <laughs> <laughs> well, he apologized the next day. Cause he and too little. He, you know, well, he realized that he put his foot in his mouth, you know, after he took it out of his behind, you know, he put it in his mouth, you know. Um, the guy's a moron. The guy's a moron. You know, first of all, oh, I'm gl- I'm so glad that Steve is now a coach and whatnot. We're performing at this optimum level, blah, blah, blah. Okay, idiot, <laughs> who was the coach before that? Who, who, I mean, you, you brought a – the man Mark Jackson brought a team that were basically perennial losers. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, and you, you, he brought them to respectability. You know, and I guess because of the uh, religious beliefs, and he had a problem with that. Uh, you, you know, you decide not to bring him back, and you bring in Steve Kerr. You know, this was built under Mark Jackson's watch. Make no mistake about it. Okay, so yeah, so is it really a surprise that Kerr is experiencing success for the first time ever with this Golden State franchise? Mm-hmm. No surprise. Because the team was already built to compete, and not only compete, but to contend. Where is the surprise? Where is the shock value? <laughs> you know. Yeah. So for this, for this, this owner, what's his name? Joe Lau, or whatever his name, whatever his name is. I don't really care. Let's go. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> for him to come out his face, man, and say that, and and then. You want to backtrack and apologize the day after? Get the freak out of here, man. Get out of here. <laughs> you know, you meant what you said. Now you probably, oh, I'm getting a little, you know, backlash. You, you, you meant what you said originally. Get get the freak out of here. You don't, it's a shame, but I hope that under his ownership that they never win an NBA championship. I'm sorry. Because wow. I took it personal. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. I took it personal. Mm-hmm. Anybody else? I echo our sentiment 100%. Get the freak out of here. <laughs> <laughs> really. I mean, Steve Kerr was handed. He, he was handed a very good team, a possible championship team. Um. Mark Jackson deserves whatever accolades. I don't want to use the term posthumously because he's not like that yet. But the the owner was clearly the owner was wrong in some of his statements. And I guess you could say it's nice to see that he apologized after second thought. But still, the damage is done. Right. The damage mm-hmm. is done. Mm-hmm. Right. You could have been classy and just not said anything and, and be good with right. The eighteen and three, eighteen and two, and the good job that Steve Kerr is doing with Mark Jackson's team. Yep. <laughs> I mean, but you know, it really has nothing to do with Mark Jackson. I mean, not Mark Jackson. It has nothing to do with Steve Kerr. This is the owner basically saying, "Hey, remember, I don't mess with you, Mark Jackson." <laughs> That's basically. Well, what nobody, we're answer. not, we're not, we're not um, disparaging Steve Kerr, but. Make no mistake, right. it's, it's he am. inherited a good situation. Right. I'm, like, I'm like just saying, him. He, I'm he, the, owner, the owner really didn't have to say and right. He could have just said, yeah, you know what, I'm very happy with where my team is at right now. He didn't even okay. have to name no names. He, but right. clearly, yep. That's what I said. He took some shots at Mark Jackson. That's why I said it's less about Steve Kerr and more about how he personally feels about Mark Jackson. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. basically saying, "Hey, yeah. I'm thumbing my nose at you, Mark Jackson." Exactly. You know, because Mark Jackson, they were fifty, fifty one, fifty one and thirty one. It's not like bottom feeders, you know. Come on, no, there was no hell no. And in the Western and Conference, 
Each year he coached them, they got better. Yep. And also, the players liked them, like playing for him. Yeah, they didn't want to. They didn't want to see him get fired. Look, can I? You know what? I'm gonna disparage Steve Kerr. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, really, because I, I just have one question, and again, I'll have to put Cat Williams' reference, you know, the line. Don't worry, I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was that? What thing, was that? All? <laughs> What, don't worry, I'll wait, the, the Cat Williams reference? Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, because the question is, that I'm going to ask is, when has Steve Kerr experienced any type of success on a management level? Oh, well, he, yeah. he was a coach. Was at, he, wasn't he GM on that? Was he GM of that Phoenix team? He was a uh, coach and a GM. He's in coach. Yeah. He didn't coach the son. No, he didn't coach. He was a he was a GM. He was a but GM. Did they he was a GM on the team against... that that he was, a, he was he was a GM on that team that blew their chances at an NBA final with that uh, brawl years ago. Was he? He was a GM. I don't no. know. Well, you know what? Yeah, yeah, because um, he was the one he fought with uh with. With D'Antoni, because yeah. he brought in Shaq, and D'Antoni didn't want Shaq. Want mm. okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but no, he didn't win. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's what I'm saying. So I'm like, I mean, and then okay, he stepped well, down. I, he stepped yeah, down. Yeah, I mean, I'll keep it real. Season. Yeah, I'll keep it real though. I'll keep it real. Like my my thing is, okay, you had your choice between Golden State. And then Knicks, okay, I get that. You know, while the, the, the specter of Phil Jackson being at the Garden is great or whatnot, he had to take a look at both rosters. And I'm not mad at him. I probably would have made the same choice. I think he <laughs> used the Knicks as leverage. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't doubt that. I wouldn't doubt that at all. You know, mm. I would not doubt that at all, brother. You know, he's a, a California guy being close to home. And, he, and, and, and really, you have a better roster. Let's keep it real. You know, you're coaching a better roster. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I understand it, but again, he is not some great, you know, uh, uh, savant and whatnot. No, absolutely not. You're blessed with a great roster, you know, a, a, a really good roster and whatnot. So you're experiencing a little bit of success, but realize on whose back it was built. 